If you've driven Bell Road on either side of the valley, you know it can be slow. There's often a lot of gridlock there, and there could soon be some relief on the way. Look at this new project. There's going to be a new set of sensors and cameras going up to track the traffic from the Loop 303 out in Surprise all the way to the Loop 101 in Scottsdale, hopefully speeding things up by giving you more green lights. Maria Hetchnova is live in Scottsdale to explain. Hey guys, I'm live here at 90th Street and Frank Lloyd Wright. The cameras you see right on the top of these traffic signals here, well, they're basically like smart signals and they're brand new and able to automatically detect backups and improve traffic flow. Horrible. That's how most drivers respond to the question, what's it like to drive on Bell Road? Extremely miserable. The time is overwhelming how long it takes to get anywhere. I usually avoid it, okay. go around it. But Nicole Moon with the Maricopa Department of Transportation tells me these smart signals could ease up congestion, especially around freeway interchanges. It basically means you get more green lights and less time getting stuck at red stoplights. The program is automatic and works in real time. They are just detecting traffic flow and traffic backup. She says the old system requires someone at the traffic management center to manually change the stoplight timing. When you add in the, the ability of technology to do that for us, it makes it much more efficient. So far, only 10 intersections in Scottsdale have this high tech technology and they've been running for about a month. But opinions vary if they're working. The feedback that they have gotten is, is fairly positive. Have you noticed a difference over the last month? Honestly not. So this is called the Bell Road Adaptive Signal Project. We're actually right here in the Scottsdale area. It's not the whole six or 30 something miles of Bell Road. It's actually broken off into four different sections. The next section that will activate these cameras, these sensors is going to be in the Glendale Peoria area. So that's going to happen next month. And the other two sections won't happen until spring of 2018. So good news relief will be on the way next year. Reporting live in Scottsdale tonight, Maria Hechenova for Arizona's Family.